Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to this video. It's Kyle Wilson in the house, authentic VV YouTuber. Just wanted to drop this video on you guys for the upcoming Comic-Con event. I can't stop thinking about it. We literally were talking about it the other day here on Cryptomaniac's channel. We had some super OG, OG VV heads in the house. We talked about quite a bit, but mainly we talked about Marvel. We talked about Comic-Con and after we shot this video, I literally can't stop thinking about it. So I just wanted to dive in and let's go ahead and see what we might, what might drop at Comic-Con. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right. First of all, guys, you want to get sub to Cryptomaniac, man. This guy is an, a real OG, man. So before he started his channel, um, you know, me and him were bouncing stuff back and forth, man. He was doing a lot of research, feeding me information, and we were just bouncing stuff off each other's heads and coming up with some good stuff. I would go out there and make a video. And so in the very beginning when there's like literally no YouTubers out there doing VV videos, uh, Cryptomaniac was, was there, man, uh, at the very beginning. So I just want to give a big shout out to him. He deserves... Uh, we need to grow his channel essentially we need to pump that channel because um, as we see these comics roll out in other collectibles and things like that this guy knows a lot of of the research he, do, he knows the research because he is a comic book collector so I just want to give him a shout out man he knows this stuff so check this out so this video we talked about it like I said so you want to like after this video check that video out and what we talked about was what we what we think we might find and things like that so I just wanted to cover it as well in further detail. So I did a little bit of research and Cryptomaniac uh, also mentioned this, the Miles Morales. So hopefully in this video, I'll make a couple connections for you guys at the end of this video. So you want to make sure you stay tuned. All right. First of all, we have Twitter. So in case we, which I just tweeted this as this video is, I'm like kind of filming things, but um, you want to make sure you follow me on Twitter, not just to follow me on Twitter, but if you know we're not able to stream the Comic Con event, obviously because copyright issues or things like that, you want to follow uh, me on Twitter because I'll be doing like live updates and as things progress. Obviously, if Vivi's going to drop something special uh, during the uh, the event, you definitely want to make sure you follow me on Twitter. You do not want to miss out on that. So I just want to let you guys know. Do not miss out on that. I'll be dropping good information that, you know, usually drops first on Twitter. And then you'll see like a bunch of YouTube videos come out about it. So you want to make sure you follow me over there. All right. So we're here on the Comic-Con International. This is, this is the San Diego event. Um, so what we might find here kind of. Uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of talk about that speculation. What we might find. So I'm on the Eisner Awards nominations. So these aren't winners. These are just the nominees for the best during a certain you know certain category or ink or best artist in this category best single issue as you can see here best continuing series so these are some kind of speculations we can kind of see best continuing series you have daredevil marvel for instance so you can read this this is on their website posted so you can kind of do some research if you guys want to go out there and do the research but you have best limited series, new series, publications. What I'm looking for is more something digital. I, I literally went control find VV, then I went literally control find digital. Um, and best publication design uh, is D Barry at 50, the complete digital Doonesbury, which is obviously the title of the designer comic. So then I saw, ooh, best digital comic. And then you have some um, other art, you have some other. Uh, you know, comics out there, Friday, Genius Animals, and Gentlemine, Promethe, Olive soon. And then you have Best Web Comic, which I thought was really cool too. You have The Middle Age, uh, The Kiss Bet, Isle of Elsie, DPS, Crisis Zone, um, and BFF. So those are uh, very interesting. You can check all that out. And then uh, Best Comic Related Book as well. But you can kind of go through here and kind of see what's going on. Another thing I wanted to definitely notate was I noticed this one right here. So best cover artist. So obviously we have seen cover art on on VV like in the Ultraman series. And uh, shout out to John Hummel for asking this question during Hello's K's um, Q and A with Reese was 
uh john in the chat asked when like like basically will we see the marvel logo appear back on that 2d ultraman art that's the secret rare so will we see that that is a great question so i'm really curious to see what that will uh entail what what how um the team will answer that because that would be very cool man especially for those that are holding the secret rare uh 2d ultraman art uh i think that would be not only beneficial to the holders and people actually hodling because personally i got one and uh that would be very cool to see that uh, from a collector standpoint so best cover artist you, these are some that you can notate as well uh buffy the vampire slayer butcher of pair you know you, you can check into that but mighty morphin power rangers baby uh by jamal campbell uh so maybe we'll see some some mighty morphin power rangers i don't even honestly i don't know who actually owns uh power rangers but i think it, it may be warner or uh, you know i don't know but i'm sure vivi has that license too since i have like every license there ever was uh, best painter and multimedia artist uh you can see some of those as well um best pencil ink inker or pencil inker team so that's pretty interesting as well marvel pops up as well there best writer and artist um that one was kind of cool as well and so anyways you can kind of research this whole page that's very interesting in my opinion to see what um artists comic writers and things like that may win this year's eisner award so i think that's really cool so so we may see some of this eventually drop anyways on the VV app. So we might as well get to know some of these artists and things like that. Next up, we have we have Marvel, obviously. So Marvel um, obviously was announced. So the the obvious conclusion that we were talking about here on the channel, on Cryptomaniacs channels, was talking about Marvel and maybe we'll see some kind of comic there. So we're kind of talking about um, we we're talking about. Let's see here. Obviously, this article here mentions that comic books and collectibles are coming, so we can kind of easily draw speculation that the next biggest event, the biggest Comic-Con um, in the, the world at San Diego, that we may see something, obviously, like with Marvel or maybe even DC. So we'll get into that in just a minute, but we'll take a look at Marvel and focus on that. So obviously, these are like their June 21 new releases, but then you have other things like best-selling digital comics which i think is pretty interesting um so you have like let's go back here i don't know if uh very beginning here you got the avengers spider-man hulk secret wars um you have all obviously you're seeing a lot of avengers right you see a lot of avengers looks like um more of that let me see if i can find something here x-men obviously so these are the best digital selling comics so that's very interesting so will we see something more popular like like the best selling digital comics um uh, because they're already digitized which like i think most comics are like if you download the marvel unlimited i think you can actually read like any comic pretty much so um which i've had this downloaded before when i was like reading all the star wars and darth vader series and um that would be cool to see that comic drop by the way the star wars like the first edition like darth vader or something crazy like that that would be actually literally sick um or will we see you can read some of these comics for free you have uh spider-man and venom number one that one's really cool i think i used to actually have one of that uh these series or these it was actually like a big thick book almost back in the day um i used to have that series or that edition rather so anyways will we see like something more popular like these best-selling digital comics or what will we see something more historical uh maybe not even marvel at all but as you can see spider-man keeps popping up quite a bit captain marvel we have a bunch of i think some of these maybe newer um comics and things like that as well so guardians of the galaxy would be actually literally lit um, but as you know like this article obviously came in a few days ago as vivi announced marvel also announced on their uh website that would be really cool by the way i went to also i wanted to check out maybe like the more physical models or physical uh, statues if they had any so i went here to more shop and maybe you guys can find more information than me but this is just at a first glance 
Um, but it takes you to the Disney shop. And what I did is I filtered uh, down to Marvel. And uh, obviously like we can do other models, maybe like Star Wars and things like that. But I wanted to do something more popular. Um, so I choose Marvel for now. But what I found is actual uh, models similar to the Batman black and white models, which was these uh, limited edition Royal by uh, Royal Selangor. Um, and these are like these pewter statues. And if you click on them, they obviously, so this one's like goes for $550, which is actually quite a bit. Uh, but I could see like the digital collectibles having possibly something to do with like actual physical models maybe too like kind of like the batman black and white that would actually literally be lit but look at the detail of that on his uh on his suit so super cool on his vibranium suit anyways you have and you also have like spider-man like this one's 500 dollars. like this is absolutely insane but as you can see like the detail on these models are actually incredible so i <clears throat> That is pretty cool. So these also have limited editions. So that's another thing to note is that these are actually limited edition statues um, and models. So um, you talk, you got the uh, Thor model here, seven hundred dollars, like, like literally insane. You have Captain America, a couple different uh, variations or editions, rather. I mean, and then you have the Iron Man course this is like the og that literally oh the og iron man suit um and then i think that's it you have also like the mini figurines which i think are also pretty cool um but it looks slightly different that would be kind of a cool collectible actually like even though they're not like full size but they're minis like, this would go cool next to my uh my Groot in the background right there but like you like i said the detail on these are are really cool and i really do like that platinum finish on the uh on the suit and everything like that but anyways i just wanted to highlight that so uh let me know what you guys can find maybe you guys can filter other brands and, and kind of see like what's going on like you have the 50th anniversary like you know sith guardian looking dudes uh or whatever i forget what they're called but anyways you got those but let me know what you guys think this is obviously like the disney site so maybe we can find um something more historical like the batman black and whites but um, this is obviously based on the Disney site. So, uh, as you can see, they got Wolverine. Like you can find some other stuff. Like here's Ray. Um, so maybe you guys can find like you have C3PO. So these are the models I'm talking about, man. So you also have Hawkeye, uh, Captain Marvel. I mean, there's quite a few. So you can kind of dig a little bit and find other stuff. Like you have uh, obviously R2D2. Anyways, guys, I could go on and on about these toys and models, but at the end of the day, we don't know, you know, if this is going to be dropped, but this is speculation, maybe about the future. Obviously, MODOK, you have, you know, Loki, Winter Soldier, and so on, but I just wanted to highlight that, that these would be actually really cool models, but um, now let's go over to DC. So, as you know, like, we have the Batman Black and White, but we also have the Bat Batman Black and White actual comics, and these are actually being dropped as, like, now like these are like this one dropped june 3rd uh, is what it looks like so um this one was just recent so wouldn't it be super cool like this the on sale day it was may 25th so this one literally just came out not that long ago so would it, wouldn't it be super cool to like have your comic with your actual model on the front like that would be super sick right so um this one looks very similar to the um Mike Mignola, Batman. I don't know if it's the same one, but this one, oh, Carl Kershaw, Artist of Gotham. The, okay, I'm not sure if it shows the cover art, but you you know what I'm getting at. I'm basically showing you guys like it would be super sweet um, to have this in a digital format and be able to read it. I think that'd be super awesome. As you can see, these are some like current series that are still ongoing, which um, some Batman, you have Batman, Fortnite Zero, which I'm about to get into. A lot of people didn't notice. Um, I think a few YouTubers kind of got close just because, you know, Fortnite. But um, this is, I meant to do a video on this a while back. But if we scroll down on the DC Universe Infinite website, you can kind of see most red series is actually Batman slash Fortnite Zero Point. 
Um, another others include Injustice and things like that, Batman and um, Digital First series, new issues daily. So these are pretty interesting as well, but I thought it was pretty cool um, that you saw there's uh, obviously Fortnite on there. If we you know, click the link, we can see that um, they have quite a bit, right? Uh, you have all these different series and it's one of the most read series on um, DC. So will we see a Fortnite? Will we see some historical guys? I don't know, I'm just pointing out the obvious here. And trying to connect the dots that we may see something like if we saw something like like a Fortnite or something crazy like that that would literally be insane as you see dc and epic games like a lot of people have been speculating from a long time back when we kept seeing what was that one the 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 that app that started with an f i put out a video myself a long time ago that i thought it was a literal vb leak that we you know we saw some of the uh Fortnite characters in um in some leaks and we literally thought that that fortnite was coming so will we see that again i don't know guys it would be super awesome at this point you know i think a big brand like epic games makes sense now that marvel is on vivi i don't see how hard it would be to get an epic games license or uh, to, to have epic games come to vivi and sell their 3d models on vivi because i think that would be a good uh business move for fortnite and also drive their sales and drive collectability and recurring income for epic games so it just makes sense in my opinion so anyways let me know what you guys think about that um and these are actually getting me like all seeing all this stuff guys actually gets me really excited because i had um obviously i've had a subscription to the marvel unlimited but this actually gets me excited to get like a membership with dc and read all their comics um it's just a lot of good stuff dc has been has got going on and um, just owning a lot of the Batman collectibles gets me super excited. And I love Batman. I love, I actually love the cartoons. And uh, the cartoons are actually amazing. And, uh, you know, it, they just do such a good job, man. Batman is just, like, literally my favorite. So, anyways. Um, but, anyways, check this out, guys. Lastly, Spider-Man. Um, this is published a couple of days ago on June 23rd. So, as this video is being shot, at least. And I just wanted to notate this which I didn't even mean to find, but Cryptomaniac was talking about Miles Morales a lot. And I actually was just looking at the news. I typed in like Google, like Marvel VV. And this is like one of the articles that popped up. So I thought that was very interesting. But it says Miles Morales teams up with Marvel Universe in new 10th anniversary covers. So like, yo, that's a little coincidental. Um, obviously, it doesn't say anything about like digital or anything like that. But I thought that was kind of a coinkadink, if you will. Um, so if you guys don't know who Miles Morales is, like there's a cool video that literally shows you Miles Morales, like 101 and tells you exactly who he is. Um, so there that is. So it's kind of like, yeah. So anyways, I don't want to get into that, but yeah. So it says on sale, like, you know, this year, I guess, uh, it, you can see like the different covers, I guess, if you will. Uh, Avengers number 48, Black Panther number four, uh, two, and on and on. And you can kind of see there's a, obviously like a ton of 10th anniversary um, stuff this year. And it, I mean, it's a lot, right? It's a lot, literally a lot. So, so there is that. So this year, Marvel Comics will commemorate the 10th anniversary of one of his brightest stars, My, Miles Morales. Um, you know, young base spider-man took the world by storm when he was created by writer brian michael bendis and artist sarah Bicelli in 2011 so uh anyways i can link this article if you guys want me to and you guys can see all the crazy other like bunch of other anniversary covers as well which i think is super awesome um like i could literally see some of this being dropped on vv no questions asked in my opinion um you know, it's just all speculation. As you can see here too, you can cycle through these 10 different, um, it says Black Panther number two, uh, 10th anniversary variant by Ken Lashley. So it's got all the different artists as well. Black Widow, 10th anniversary variant by Jiwa Edge, uh, Eben Nibi, Black Widow. This one's super sick right here, by the way. So I just wanted to highlight these uh, artworks. This is actually really sick. 
So I encourage you guys too to look through this, to check out the, who the artist is and kind of notate that and see if you guys can find anything as well. But I thought that was super interesting and uh, I can link this like 101 video if you don't know who Miles Morales is. But that is the information, the scoop on uh, that real quick. And obviously I've done a video and uh, as well as uh, the Gale I believe where we also covered um, in the past where 1518 Studios is obviously working with Vivi, but they also, and obviously Trevor has mentioned this and he said not um, in an AMA or whatever, he said um, obviously they're working on this, but they, uh, or like what I mean is 1518 Studios is working um, on Spider-Man Miles Morales, but what he was saying is like obviously Vivi like is not working with like on that like well i don't even know i don't know how to word that he basically was like um not to draw speculation is basically what he's saying and he didn't confirm anything but it's like we can make an educated guess rather um let's see vv was on here somewhere um maybe they changed the home page but uh, they have like partners a partners area and you can kind of you can see vv it's like oh yeah right there ikomi so ikomi is like number <laughs> The number the top one up here like that up next to like amazon and netflix and cbs you know what i mean so kind of a big deal Pre pretty cool to be on the website so high but like going back to that once again like and look at all these companies they they have worked with like call of duty blackouts cold war which is like literally one of the most popular games right now um and miles morales like i don't know like to me my head is just connecting dots and in the past when you know I've connected dots like that before. They've been pretty close, guys. And so, anyways, I wanted to point all this stuff out, guys, to see maybe what you guys can dig up as well. And uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this. What Do you, do you think it's going to be uh, a 2D cover? Do you think it's going to be like what Marvel was saying in their article, like a digital comic? Uh, because either of those would be super amazing. Um, do you think it, like what brand or, or I guess rather what comic or 2d cover do you think it might be or do you think it could be a model uh like like this by royal the so langor uh you know even dc comic or uh, even dc like models as well so i'm very curious to see what happens uh during comic con but i just want to get this video out not only to uh because i've been super excited and just been thinking about comic con literally like every day um so i just want to get this video out and let you guys know about it and what i think about it and also see if you guys can come up with something cool or do your research on it as well and maybe we can all work together as a community to kind of brainstorm and make educated guesses as to what might drop at comic-con anyways that's all i got for now guys um you know what to do if you like the video hit the bell hit the sub and you know what to do if you don't like the video but as always peace love vv and be like an nft be authentic, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.